Greetings and welcome back everyone to a very rainy day on the high seas of From the Depths. I am, of course, joined as ever in this endeavour by Enter Elysium. Say hello, Enter Elysium. Hello, Enter Elysium. You and Shen, I... Wow. I'm going to give up on you soon. I'm surprised you haven't already, to be honest. <laughs> Aww. Right, in this episode, Andrelissium is... What are you working on? Are you working on the weapon systems or something else? I, I am working on the weapon systems now. I actually started working on the front torpedo tubes, right. which are going to like pop out when they see an enemy, and then fire torpedoes, and that way it'll look smooth and nice and sleek. Very nice. I am going to be working on a cram cannon. Mm. A cram cannon is... Well... I'm not sure if there's a specific type of thing that it is, but I always think of them as, like, artillery um, shells, that, ki that kind of thing. Uh, actually, I've built this a little bit too big. But these are the heavy, slow-firing cannons, whereas the advanced cannons are the fast gatling uh, guns of the game. I mean, you can make a like advanced cannon that is, like, slow, but it's never as good as a cram. No. No. These things have a lot of punch, but they fire very slowly, and there's really no way to get around that. You're never going to have a cram cannon that fires quick. And, you know, you've got to bear that in mind. Now, the thing I'm doing here is I'm adding plenty of protection around the very, very base of the cram cannon, because I don't want this thing being broken. Obviously, I'm going to invest a fair old bit of resources into making it. It would make me very, very sad if it were to break. However, cram cannons can work very nicely in this kind of design here. It, for vertical cram cannons, anyway. Um, I guess it, all types of cram cannons would, would be fine, honestly. But I like to build them in a 5x5 five five area, or at least if I'm not make, trying to make some sort of god gun. You can make really, really obnoxiously powerful weapons. I try to avoid it where I can because it makes the game a little bit too easy um, but obnoxious is my speciality so yeah it, it is that let's all be honest with ourselves there's no point in 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 pretending it's not that way there we go Just gotta live with it unfortunately so do we <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay, there we go. Right, I've increased the, the height of the cram can a little bit. This will be the neck up here. Now, what I've done here is we will be able to double thick this armor. In fact, we could triple thick it, quadruple thick it if we really wanted to, so that it, this cannon would be very, very hard for an enemy to damage. And obviously, that is something that you really, really want. Now, the way we're going to build this, and the reason why I've built this kind of um, skeletal structure here, is we are going to have autoloaders going up the insides, also autoloaders on the outsides. This will give it, well, it will give it a very specific profile that I will cover in just a moment. But the, we'll start with the center, and in the center, I tend to put ammo boxes. Now, the reason why I put ammo boxes there is because I like to get, have more warheads than ammo boxes because the crown cannons fire so slowly. I really don't think it matters. Um, that is a, you know, fair logic. Yeah. Mm, it says connected to zero ammo boxes each. That's not good. I need it to be connected to ammo boxes, please. Let me slide back up here a second. If I grab this and place this down, it should show me which directions can have the ammo boxes in. Oh, it's those ones. Sod it. I was completely wrong. I've placed all do? of my ammo loaders in the wrong way. I'm a derp. And there was I, you know, last episode complimenting you on your from the depth skills. Oh, that's okay. I noticed it. We'd have gone into battle if it was you before you'd noticed. <laughs> no, we'd have gone into battle several times, and I'd be wondering why we're losing. Yeah. My gun's still not working. I don't know what I've done. Oh, he's actually fairly good at the game. He pretends he's not very good, so that your expectations are low. Then when he does well, everyone heaps loads of praise on him. Low expectations. It. That way, like, if you lose, they expect it. If you win, they're pleased. You know? Yeah. Low expectations low. There we go. So the best way. Now, all of these are connected to one ammo box. All of the ammo box in the middle now will be connected to them as well. Okay, there we go. It has been a while since I've built cram cannons. 
I played around with them when they first came out, and then I have, haven't played with them much since, unfortunately. There we go. Now I just rotate this that way, and we should be good. And this will have an awful lot of warheads attached. Now the corners will just have warheads in them. There we go. And we're almost done. Perfect. Right. Now the way the cam cram cannon works is it literally just crams whatever warheads, whatever whatever it's got, into each shell. The longer yeah. you let it work, the bigger the, the the more stuff it's gonna pack into the shell. When you say literally, yeah. you really do mean literally. Yeah. Like it literally, literally. That's what it does. It that's why these are called pallets. So like the ammo box is you need that to fire and it reduces the reload. But then Fragmentation pallets, for example, this will fill the shell with fragmentation materials, which, when detonated, fires a cloud of damaging projectiles out, useful against armor or soft targets alike. Um, you can have a look at high explosives, which, um, on impact, cause a large explosion. Hardener pellets, which adds armor piercing and kinetic damage, so good for against really strongly armored enemies, such as the Onyx Watch. And EMP pellets, which create a surge of energy, which can shake, uh, sneak through metal targets and destroy the AI. Kind of useful on the Onyx Watch, on, honestly, if you've got a lot of them. Yeah, no, they, they come in really handy. And I kind of like having my um, cram cannons have a little bit of everything, honestly. I'm, a, I'm one of those people. Jack of all yeah. trades. I mean, it means you never excel at anything. Yeah. Well, you know the phrase, um, Jack of all trades, master of none? Mm-hmm. Do you know there's a second line to that? No. Um, it's Jack of all trades, master of none, but oft a Jack of all trades is better than a master of one. Oh. I never heard that part. That's yeah, actually pretty cool. People always use it, like, disparagingly about people who, like, uh, prefer to have a well-rounded skill set. No, it's actually, like, the second line of the phrase is actually, you know, generally you want a master of, like, a, a jack of all trades. A master of one is useful in, like, one circumstance and crap every other time. Yeah, but a jack of all trades would be useful in many different situations. I like it. Yeah. We're going to keep that saying, E.E. -E. Yeah. No, I approve no, of it. I'm cool. We should keep that, yeah. Uh, let's see. Now, I want some metal armor out here. Now, the way I do... The metal armor is I usually leave a 3x3 three three area because I actually want to armor the firing piece itself. So do that there. I'll bring the metal blocks out here. Oh, actually. I'm trying to think how to do spin block missile launches and I'm trying to figure out Let's how many up I need line. to go, Let's how just many long I need to go. It sounds like it stopped raining. No, that's lightning. No. It will never stop raining. E -E. It's England. The fairly time it fairly stops, certain uh, it, it, it rains quite a lot in many other places. Well, I was going to say, you know, I was going to say, you trust know, an Englishman to be that Scotland arrogant. Can, but Scotland, My sometimes Lord. it does stop raining, so it can snow. <laughs> well, you're not wrong, I suppose. Now, a three by three area can rotate quite happily in literally a 3x3 three three gap. So, we'll just leave that there. Now, as for the barrel, the cannon in Weapon Slot Zero with IB7651, reload time is 0 0.58 seconds, but limited to 0 seconds between shots, blah, blah, blah. Shell diameter, 200 millimeters, and muzzle velocity, 60 meters per second. 0% of the shell is taken up by fuses. 106 kinetic, 144 explosive. You'll notice that over time, it will increase the density. It'll get more explosive, especially when we start adding on all of the little doodads, which actually give this something to do. We can have a laser targeter, a fusing box. Use this box to configure the cram shells to be launched with any combination of timed proximity, altitude, penetration depth, or inertia fuses. Each fuse we add will reduce the volume in the shell available for payload materials. Now, the thing with the cram cannon, it fires slow shells doesn't fire them very often either, so it's generally a pretty good idea to have this thing able to target and, and all of that kind of malarkey. 
I'm going to pop that up there. I think that will be connect. No. Oh, no. No, it will. There we go. And we'll add a fusing box there. And... Mm, we could put a fall of shock predictor on there, I guess. No, I'd prefer to actually have like it like that. There we go. Now, it's not ah. connected. Let me... Hmm. I know what we can do. We can do this. There we go. I think this will work. Oh, I think I may have made this too low down. What's wrong? There we go. You can't place ejectors on the back of the launch pad, can you? Uh, I think you can. Okay, let's try it. Uh, ejector. I'm gonna go for a time from launch. No, you can't. Penetration depth. I'm gonna set the penetration depth to about 30. But each one of these um, takes up quite a lot of depth, so you really don't want to take up too much. I think they, yeah, they take up a quarter of the shell. A quarter of the shell. So really, we only want a time from launch. The laser will designate when that shell needs to explode based on what it's trying to aim for and that's probably going to be good enough if we really want to do we could go for penetration depth and that would actually ruin the most things if it hits it it's going to do damage because it'll wait for the shell to naturally burrow through several layers of the armor first then detonate it'll the detonate that, though, inside if, the if ship penetrate run up armor the thing is off. it's a cram cannon it's going to penetrate <laughs> Well, yeah, but if it goes, like, you know, through one layer of armor and then out the other side, it won't pass through enough armor to detonate. Well, you only need to put it down to one layer, then, in that case. But then it wouldn't be getting deep enough into hard targets if it happens to get a, like, thick part. No, I that's true. I time for that reason. Really? Oh, well, we can do that, but I, I do genuinely find that um, in my testing, the having it penetration depth is just massively OP. But we'll, we'll see how that one goes. Well, I go time, and then I um, like have a very short time, so it's effectively a penetration depth fuse. I will just build this out a little bit. So let's say ten. Uh, uh, let's this go a little bit longer. Might be a little bit on the OP side. For Yay! <laughs> You're normally the one complaining about OP. We died a season ago. Okay, that's a good point. I'd forgotten about that one. Yep. Okay, they're all gonna die. Nine elevation. I'm going to pop down a couple of motor-driven barrels on this. Just to make sure that we've got... I want an elevation arc of about 45 degrees. Um, there we go. 11 missiles in a round. Oh, that's way more than I need. Yeah, 11 missiles in each rack. Okay. Uh, and that's going to be... How long are they going to be? There we are. Perfect. 45 elevation arc. That's all I need. Azimuth is unnecessary for me. But the elevation arc, at 45 degrees, it'll get the, the greatest distance that it can. And um, that's ultimately what we want. How long do you think a good length missile is? Um, hmm. Bearing in mind, I'm going to use lure guidance for these, so they won't have to worry about cameras. Uh, okay, if lure is involved, then it'll just have a lure um, receiver on the front... Uh, what type of engine are you using? Variable? Probably one variable. Okay, and, and how fast is it going to be moving? Uh, I might put it up to 1,500, uh, just increase the speed a little bit. Give it a kinetic head just to add to the... Then impact. two sections for its fuel and its thruster. A section for its stabilization fins. Mm -hmm. the, and lure is there, and then, you know, either one or two extra sections for... Payload. Payload was what I was saying. Yeah, okay. Now, I need to put I on the grade increases. Um, up to eight sections available. Okay. Um, eight sections would mean that it would be very hard hitting, but much slower reload. So I could decrease that to about seven or six. Um, much faster firing then. You may I mean, notice, could, for yeah. those who are looking on my screen at the moment, the way the gauge increases work on a ca cram cannon, all of these gauge increases do exactly the same thing. Not one of them is any different from any of the others, but they look awesome. And that is that is 
the whole thing with them is they just look better. Okay, I've decided I'm not gonna use lure because okay. of the fact that it's um, dirty cheating. Eh, not really. I mean, they allowed to use lure, and lure has been changed recently. I've noticed that a lot of those scripts I used to use don't work anymore. Yeah, it's because they have uh, update times. Even then, there does seem to be something even more different. Look at this cannon. It's not quite big enough yet, though. My cannon needs to be bigger. I need a bigger uh, cannon, sure, E. Don't you get, like, the spam emails that tell you that you can, like... They've all lied. Oh. I've trusted them too many times. Lies, all of them. Fair enough. That makes sense. Filthy lying emails. Um... Um, so yeah, I think what we'll do is I'll use a camera infrared. It's boring, but I'll do it. Okay. Because that way you can select a random block. Like Damn straight it. up, that's the best reason for doing it. I'm almost there with the, the size of... Ah, there we are! Two meter shells! Hurrah! I've got there in the end. Took me a while, but we eventually got there. Congratulations, I'm so happy for you. Well, you better be. There we go. Right, so it's 2,000 millimeter shells with a muzzle velocity of 181 meters a second. 1% of the shell is taken up by fuses. Reload time is 18.25 seconds. It is currently reloaded, but limited to zero seconds between shots. The best possible reload time for this gauge is 11.2 seconds, and we uh, are being attacked. Yay! Now, I have already. Ah, uh, well, that's because you suck. Uh, I'm sorry to break it to you like is this. Is your cram cannon ready? Yes. So, I haven't it's set up the uh, limit on when it should fire, but we'll see. Do you Let's want to go. Take manual control. Uh, no, it's an angler. E -E. My AA guns are going to defeat this thing. Oh, okay. But it is bringing in more friends, which I'm very glad about. So let's just get this fight over with. Ooh, hello. Yeah, we've got. Frankly, glad on. that they're coming. Yeah, you know what's what got... on this? Yeah, they've got actually... How much have they got? They've got 3.4k and we've got 4.2. So we've got just the fishing hole. That is all. And... Oh, we've got the rape here in. No need. Come on, crown cannon. I, I need to adjust this. Minimum pack time. Basically, I want to limit it to, say, 20 seconds. I only want this thing to fire every 20 seconds. There it goes. Yeah, the issue is if you... Oh, I missed. If you fire too well, early, crap. your cram cannon will not have like enough stuff in its shell. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, and that, that is largely a, a matter of just trial by, by fire, really. I'm just watching it to the see. Fortress, by the way. Hang on. I'm just watching. Oh, oh, oh. It's dead. Is it? AI is dead. Is it? Yes. Oh yeah, I see it. Hey. I think the crown cannon blew it up. I don't know how you managed that. It looked to me like the crown cannon hit the very back. There we go. It's reloaded. It's oh, waiting for it. another 20 yeah. seconds. Oh, I took another shot. Now, the main thing I want to see here is how densely packed this gets. As you can see, the if you look in the, the fourth box down whilst looking at the cannon E. Just so that your viewers will know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to say, uh, there's an hourglass, two mules, and a bear moth. And the other fleet is a mm -hmm. uh, churl. Okay. Well, this right. thing is still packing a lot of stuff into this. Oh, my God. What? This cannon is ridiculous. That's not ridiculous. It's fine. Don't listen to him, cannon. You're beautiful. <laughs> I might actually set it to only fire after every minute. <laughs> if you miss. Believe I me. Mean, like, if you miss believe. and it, it like inertial fuses so it goes off in the water, that would be <laughs> enough to cause yeah. shockwaves that would just dent hull plating if not rip them off. <laughs> like, well, we've got, got not got an inertial fuse. We've, we've got a time meters. fuse. Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 pre it's pretty big. But as you can see, it's starting to slow down now. So about a minute is where... It gets pretty heavily packed. 
it, it's it's not really gaining as much from it anymore. Probably about 45 seconds would do. We'll set it to 30 just so that we're competitive, I suppose. I mean, for Americans, that's like a hundred foot radius, so two hundred foot diameter. Right. How many? What are the guns set up on this thing? I need to go somewhere where I can interact with a firing control computer. Have we got one down here? Yes, we do. Okay, so yeah, that one can be number one. That's fine. Just need to find it. There we go. This needs to be one there. And um, we want to set this to be firing group one as well. What Perfect. do you think about frag, explosive, explosive, EMP, EMP? Uh, yeah, you're kind of covering all bases. I prefer to be a little bit more specialized with, when it comes to... Um, when it comes to missiles, I prefer to have a missile that is heavy explosive, a missile that is frag, a missile that is EMP, and just have them launch in different different points. But you can do it your way. I'm sure okay. it would work. Now, the only issue here is I've only got one layer of metal at the top, and I, I don't actually like that. I think we need more. Hmm. I may redesign the top just slightly, but it damn, it looks good. Just add a lot more armor around the side. Now, every layer of armor you add makes this much, much more survivable. Uh, we will we'll take that around. But it looks so good without armor. Shut your mouth. How dare you? I'm just being contrarian. Don't worry. You are. You are. Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, I do. I just know I'm talking the opposite of what you should do. Why would you try to lead our viewers astray? Do you not love them? I do, but sometimes, you know... Sometimes uh, you just like to be a troll. Well, I was going to say, you know, experience is a harsh mistress, but, you know, you'll remember your lesson. Will they? Will they remember if they're daddy -y because you told them to build bad cannons and then they, they died? Yeah, it's about the fittest. Oh, I see. So now you're, you're playing God. You're deciding who should be the fittest by denying those you do not favor Important tactical information. No, e -e. they should know. You're turning me. into a terrible, terrible person. If if they are too trustworthy, that's their problem. Just I, I want them to be done. I want doesn't get, unfortunately. I wish it did, but. Well, there like we go. Say, too often, you can hope, but hope doesn't get you very. I hard. have armored uh, cannon. I think it looks nice. Ooh, that's a look. Uh, I need to paint it, but. I think it looks su ah. sufficiently sufficiently spiky and, well, it's not really spiky per se, but it, it looks kind of imperial. I was going to say gothic. Yeah, gothic and imperial. It looks like something that could live in the 40k universe. Yes. As most of my designs could. Fairly certain that the Emperor would approve of me. I think he'd say you're a heretic. Nah. Now he, he he would say that uh, well he wouldn't say anything he wouldn't need to he'd just look at me and nod and it'd be fine I'd have his silent approval sure he'd be just sat there thinking I wish Horus had turned more out like Avak <laughs> oh oh okay now it's night time I cannot see anything ha <laughs> I still can because I have the Emperor's favor my viewers can see things because that's, I that's the mark. I know <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Shut up! I can't see any chaos runes. I'm fairly certain. Pretty certain there's no heresy going on here. You know that language that you thought was Welsh all along. <laughs> that yeah, was actually. That's, uh... Oh no! Oh dear! I'm gonna shoot him with my cram cannon. <laughs> if I had to shot you, I might take a part of the fortress as you well. You might actually hit the ammo hold with that cram cannon. If, if I hit your ship, your ship would be gone. Let's be honest, this has a 30 meter radius, 10,900 kinetic, 8,900 yeah, explosive, 7,900 like, EMP, Wouldn't just happen. in case anything did survive, and 798 fragments as well. How much is the AP? 71.2. Yeah, that would go straight through the ship into the center, blow up the ammo hold. Yes. Regardless of anything else. Yes. 
That's why I was thinking penetration depth fuse, honestly. Nothing is going to stop this from going through a few meters of, of whatever. The only thing is, is if it hits a hole. But then, assuming it's the first thing to hit it, it's going to have all of its armor, and then it'll be dead. So it won't matter if there's a hole. I very much doubt many things would survive a single blow from this. Yeah. And, it's only, and it only does 370,000 recoil as well. It's actually pretty good, in my opinion. That's actually not a lot of recoil for what I was expecting. Kapow! Whee! I was very scared there for a moment. I wasn't actually going to shoot you. It would blow your ship up. Yeah. All of that time you spent there would literally be gone in an instant. I would be such a jerk. You're sure um, not me. <laughs> would you shoot my ship? Ah, you know what? I'm not even that surprised. But, uh, is there anything else? Where I kind of want to add more to the barrel. Give it a little bit more accuracy. Okay. But it will mean I need to add... We more. are mm, a little way away from fighting. I think we're probably 20 minutes away from our fight. It's going to be a lot of fights at once, though. That's fine. So I do want to get this ship up and running. No, uh, that's okay. Uh, Chancellor, Faraday, Angler, Defiant. That is... A bit of a scary course. Now, what I've got here is I've got basically four different sections. One section is has uh, has already got missiles in it. I'll put another section of missiles. That leaves two sections left. Okay. My thinking is one section of anti-missile missiles. Mhm. Mm one can have a cannon, or both could have cannons, and I'll put anti-missile missiles somewhere else. Anti-missile missiles. Yeah, you could probably put them somewhere else. Yeah. So. Speed this up. When you're done with that cannon, do you want to join in and we'll plan out some cannons to the back of this? I'm painting. You're, you're painting. Yes. The defense of the realm. This yeah. cannon will defend the realm. I'm gonna make it look good while it does it. This cannon deserves. It hasn't got a picture of the queen. Doesn't need a picture of the queen. What? It doesn't. A cannon you like this does not need a picture of the queen. You only need a picture of the queen if you forget what she looks like. This cannon has a very good memory. Why, have you forgotten what the queen looks like? She looks glorious. Then why do you need a picture? To remind you of this. It's almost like you're losing faith. To, more, to uh, lift the spirits of the crew. There are no crew. And if they were crew, they wouldn't need the spirits to be lifted in such, such a gaudy manner. They'd already remember what the queen looked like. You disappoint the queen, E. She weeps. But I've been disappointing people since I was born, so uh, it works well. <sighs> there we go. We want some nice black as well. Of course. I want to paint it black. <laughs> well done, actually. That was a good reference. You know, if any time I really like shoehorn a Rolling Stones reference same. Yoink, all the way down. Right, so where would I put anti missile missiles? Really? You can put them wherever you want. Who's going to tell you not to? It's not going to be me, it's your ship. You can, you can do what you want, dude. I encourage you to explore your creativity. Okay. You'll probably be sorry about that one. Maybe. But I'll, I'll lie. And I'll pretend that I'm not. That's quite kind of you, thank you. You're welcome. I'm only a jerk some of the time. But you do it so well. I know. I practice a lot. Uh, right. Let's get these ones painted. Okay, I've got one problem. The ammo hold is directly below a section of the ship that I want to put. Um, I, I had kind of noticed that your ammo hold was... Mm. When I was having a glance earlier, I was a little bit concerned. If I put turrets on top of it and it blows up, all the turrets get destroyed. Yeah. What do you think I, I should do about that? About. Well, the thing is, I'm not really sure there's much you can do given the design of the uh, of the vessel that you've made. So, I mean, uh, what else do I do with the ammo hold, though? I know, that's the problem. Is 
shy of a redesign, I'm not sure there's much you can do. And I'm not going to suggest you redesign it, don't worry. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. Uh, yes, I can get an anti-missile -missile system in here. Right, so... Where are you? Hmm? Are you... Where am I? Painting? Yeah, just putting the finishing touches. Alright, if you want to fly the camera over here when you're done. It looks glorious, by the way. It, it does look pretty cool. There we are. Everyone, this will usher in a new age. Right, what do you want me to do? Oosh, I'm over here with my camera. I'm looking at stuff. My god, okay. these missiles are gigantic. <laughs> they're, they're pretty tough. Um, oh, I need to set the camera on them. Anyway, um, what I've got here at the back is the, the second slot is going to be another missile thing. Mm -hmm. Then I've divided this uh, one into, into four. Yeah. The idea is the two at the front will be... Probably anti-missile missiles, and the two at the back will be turrets, or the other way around, depending on okay. um, launch vectors. And then at the very back, we have a giant cram cannon. Okay. Uh, and that can be, you know, sunk into the hole here. Below it is actually just engines, so that one's fine. It's these ones up front I was more worried about. Um, what do you think? Do you want, like, two uh, rapid-firing um, cannons and then missiles behind them so they can arc over, or do you think the cannons should be able to shoot at the top of the missile launchers? Because those missile launchers gives me anti-missile missiles. Uh, I have the missiles at the back. Okay. And the cannons in front of it, I think. Okay. Um, do you want to get started on a cram cannon or on a uh, normal cannon? Well, actually, I think we should probably look to wrap this episode up. That is actually a very good point. As our ready. enemies are bearing down upon us, and we'll probably be here in the next episode. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We may even accelerate time, because there's no way that we can possibly get this finished in time to deal with them, so it might be just better for us to let them get here, see how our cannons deal with them, and then continue with the build in the next episode proper. What do you think? Um, I don't know. I'm just afraid that we might get taken out. There are quite a lot of them there. <sighs> okay. Um, I mean, any anything we can do before they get here might be beneficial, even if it's, you know... I don't think we're going to finish that ship, not before they get here. They are moving oh, slowly, we but... Get it, we can get, you know, some of it active, like... This missile system could be active. Okay. Well, we'll work on the ship in the next episode then, but that will be it from us for now. Do let us know if you have any feedback, especially on my videos if you happen to be watching on my channel in regards to the gamma correction that I am using to try and make it look a little bit easier to see. It is really hard, especially when it's nighttime, because it's just always overcast. Soon we'll be moving away. Once the ship is built, we'll actually probably be taking the fight to the Onyx Watch and, and trying to generally get a better area, which is why I've been working on the defenses of the base, so that we can just leave it and be secure in the knowledge it won't die. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so do let us know in the comments if you have any feedback regarding any of that, or just in regards to anything we're doing. I noting to your gamma correction. It's not gamma, it's a curve correction, but mm -hmm. very similar. So if anyone's got feedback on that for me, if you want it lighter or more saturated or whatever, just... Just let us know. But thank you very much for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed and will be joining us in the next, as always. But until then, do take care. That turret looks very sad. Oh, stay shiny. <laughs>